Welcome to the ARC Thrift Stores team. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about how important donations are to ARC Thrift Stores. Every thrift store is only as strong as our donation stream, and you make all the difference. Providing a warm and welcoming donation environment is a critical piece of the ARC Thrift Stores puzzle. Every item on our sales floor flows through our donation doors. From brick rack to clothing, all items we sell are donated by generous members of our community. Donation areas are clearly marked at all of our store locations and donation stations. Donation attendants and furniture attendants are stationed in our back rooms and tasked with monitoring our donation areas and assisting our donors. During busy seasons, any employee may be asked to help with collecting donations, so it's very important that you learn how and what to do. Volunteers are often tasked with serving our backdoor donors, and they must understand how important their role is. Smiling, thank yous, and being generally welcoming to our donors is the most important part of the job. Most backdoors are equipped with a device that looks a lot like a long hose and runs the length of the driveway. This hose triggers a bell that rings throughout our back rooms. This is the donation bell. Employees must respond to the donation bell within 30 seconds. This bell indicates that a donor has arrived to give us a donation of gently used items. Meet the donor at their vehicle. Warmly greet the donor and offer to unload items to be donated. Remember, these items may have sentimental value to this donor. Treat all items the way you would want your donated items treated. Never drop, throw, toss, or comment negatively about items being donated. Please service one car at a time. Always acknowledge the next car in line if a new car pulls up with a friendly wave or inform them you will be right with them. When unloading a vehicle, you will need to separate items. Place items donated in boxes, also known as hard goods, on the hard goods rack. Place items in bags, also known as soft goods, on the soft goods rack. If the donor has a car full, simply unload, get them on their way, and you can separate items into hard goods piles and soft good piles after the customer has driven away. Let's talk about big items. Never attempt to unload large items by yourself. Always get a team member to help. You will be provided with a list of items we cannot accept. Most donors are aware of this list and won't drop off these items. However, if a donor pulls up with a mattress, hazardous materials, tires, or television monitors, you will need to politely inform them that we are not able to accept these items. You are not the donation police. Please do not argue or debate with donors. If you see something, say something. Get help from a supervisor if you see an item that we cannot accept being donated. Often, it's easier to accept all items and determine what can't be used after the donor has left the car line. There is never any cause to argue with a donor. Sometimes a customer, employee, or volunteer sees an item in our donation area and wishes to purchase that item. This is never allowed. All items must go through the production process in our back rooms. Customers, employees, and volunteers are not permitted to shop the donation area. Once items have been unloaded for a donor, it's important to always offer a tax receipt. The tax receipt is blank and allows donors to fill in the value of their items and submit for their personal tax purposes. Never offer values or fill in blanks on this tax receipt for a donor. If they prefer, they can go online and print a blank tax receipt from our website, arcthrift.com. Donors have many options for places they can donate these days, and we want ARC Thrift Stores to be the number one choice for donating. Incorporating an attitude of gratitude is very important. We're counting on you to provide the best service possible when working with our donors. Please remind every donor that every time they shop or donate, they're supporting people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. End all interactions with every donor with a warm and sincere thank you.